started the season with two one each draws against Clyde and Nowden Barton to establish the SPFL teams. Are you, are you proud of that, even though you've not won a game yet? Yeah, I'm very proud of the players. I think the players have showed great character. They've had the confidence to express themselves when it would have been easy for them to maybe go into a shell and to feel the worst. But the response to going behind them both of them, I think, has been really, really positive. And it's taken a squad in both games as well, so that gives us confidence too. For us, it's about producing performances that maintain the positivity and the confidence around the club. You know, we're not going to set ourselves any overly ambitious targets. We're going to try and set our way in the league and learn as much as we can as we go. And then, maybe come Christmas and New Year, we can start talking about what are the goals and aspirations. In terms of the start of the season for players, I mean, two additions in two games, two yeah. goals. You know, must be delighted with it. Oh, listen, I'm thrilled for them. You know. I, I think he's made a fantastic start to the season. You know, he's in a he's in a good place. He's in good form. You know, we've got one or two others where it's maybe not quite happening for them just now, but but they're not hiding. They're working hard and they're contributing what they can right now to the team. And that's what it's about because you can't play well every week. You know, you're not going to take a great touch every time you get the ball. You're not going to make the perfect pass every time you get the ball. But if you can perform your role and work as hard as you can for the team, then you can still make a massive contribution. You've been at the club for over a decade, one of the longest serving managers in Scottish football. Yeah, people keep reminding me of that. <laughs> Keep telling me I'm old. What's the key to that longevity for you and obviously this new challenge of being in the SPFL? I think um, longevity, longevity comes from having a, a long term plan and long term vision and, and a strategy. You know, we've built things gradually and obviously things have accelerated in the last season or two, but the club's been developing going for a number of years. Me personally, I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy being in the dressing room, I enjoy building teams and I've been lucky enough that I've been given time to build three or four at this point. You started the season with two one all draws. Are you frustrated with that given that you've probably been the team in both games that have had most of the ball and most of the chances? I think listen, I think it's the only frustration that I've got, Callum, is uh, the fact in probably the two weeks we should have took six points. Uh, if I'm being absolutely honest, we are in a position that we've done both games 1-0 and then within the last 10 minutes of both games we've, we've given some of those teams the equalisers. But probably more importantly than that is I think we're playing really well in terms of building the game from the back. We're playing through the lines, we're in great positions, but the biggest frustration for me just now is the top end of the pitch because we're creating so many good opportunities in the opposition box probably just lacking that wee bit of quality to, to take them. In terms of the longer term picture, you've signed some experience in Mark Dundon, you've got Sean Kite and Tony Wallace back at the club for a second spell. Are you hoping in the kind of remaining games, obviously 34 games to go, that that experience will shine through and take you maybe further than you got last season? Well, listen, that's the plan. I mean, Sean Kite and, uh, and Mark Dundon thought were excellent. We've been excellent you know, today. I thought defensively we looked good. We look as if we're not going to lose a lot of goals. And that was the same as last season. Uh, and I think if we continue that, we, we, we get in clean sheets and, and you know, defending properly, then we're going to give ourselves a chance in games. And we certainly gave ourselves a chance in the last two games, Callum, because we've created so many chances. But the biggest disappointing thing just now, and the thing that we need to get right, is the top end of the pitch, because we're in the opposition box too many times, and we'll have scored more goals. And that's the bit that we will continue to work at and continue to you know, take the lads in training and, and, and on the pitch and, and the training pitch and just keep chatting away at it. And, and I'm sure with the quality we've got in that dressing room, the goals will flow. And in terms of goals flowing, do you think once they, they get a couple of goals, the confidence will come and it will just click from there? Of course it will. Listen, you know yourself, you've been about the game a long time. Goals and, and, and victories, you know, they just, it's momentum, isn't it? People just believe it, gives you that belief. And, and uh, but maybe we'll come in a wee bit nervous in that final third just now over the last two games.